This is a story called Snake Supper, illustrated by Aunt per Parker and written by Ellen Durant. You'll need a little shaker egg that you can shake when I give you the signal. It'll sound like this. A snake slithered slowly through the forest, looking for supper. He hissed. He was feeling very hungry. The snake met a mouse. What kind of sound does a mouse make? Squeak, squeak, said the mouse. Supper, hissed the snake, and he opened his mouth just a little. And he swallowed the mouse. But he was still hungry. The snake met a goat. What does the sound of a goat? Bah, bah, cried the goat, lowering his horns. Supper, hissed the snake, and he opened his mouth a little wider still. He swallowed the goat, horns and all. Do you see the horns sticking up in his belly? But he was still hungry, and the snake slithered on. The snake met two chimpanzees. What's the sound of a chimpanzee? <laughs> chattered the chimps. Our chattering will give you a stomach ache. Supper, hissed the snake, and he opened his mouth and swallowed the chimps, one after the other. His stomach felt a little more full, but still not full enough. So he slithered on until he met a tiger. Can you make a tiger sound? Rawr, rawr, roared the tiger. Supper, hissed the snake, and he opened his mouth very wide and swallowed the tiger, all except the tail, which stuck out like a tongue. Do you see it there? Ah, sighed the snake, and he slithered away to sleep under the shade of a tree. When along came an elephant carrying a log. What's an elephant sound like? Ew, ew, trumpeted the elephant. I bet you can't eat me. Hey, and what are those bumps in your belly? <laughs> the snake looked up. His eyes gleamed and his tongue flickered. His stomach felt full, but here was enough supper to last a week. Super supper, he hissed, and he opened his mouth wide and really wide and really wide and wider and wider until the elephant stuck his log right in the snake's mouth. The snake was stuck. Then the elephant wrapped his trunk around the tiger's tail and he pulled and he pulled and pulled and out tumbled the tiger, the two chimps, the goat and the mouse. Now the snake's stomach was completely empty. Look how skinny he is. Each of the animals said thank you to the elephant in their own way. Here's what the tiger said. Rawr. Here's what the chimp said. Ee, ee. Here's what the goat said. Ba, ba. Here's what the mouse said. Ee, ee. And the trumpeting of the elephant sounded like this. Ee -oh, ee -oh. Your mouth is too big for your stomach. Then the elephant pulled the log and the snake's mouth snapped shut. The snake slithered silently away into the dark forest without any supper. But was he sorry? Was he sad? No, he was looking for breakfast.